I was born and raised in San Diego, California, voted one of the best cities in the world, famous for its year-round sunshine, stunning beaches, rich culture, architecture, and authentic Mexican cuisine. Once I graduated high school, before I knew it, my San Diego body landed in Minnesota to attend St. Olaf College, as well as a semester abroad in the historical country of Scotland at the University of Aberdeen, before going back to Minnesota, the famous state for freezing your buns off. Four years of that was all this Cali girl could take before I said, see ya beaches, and moved back to the sun, though this time I moved to Hawaii. Anyone who's been to Hawaii should know the popular phrase, Maui no ko'oi, meaning of the seven islands, Maui's the best, and it sure was, but sheesh, it's expensive. It'll cost you your arm, leg, and firstborn child to live there. Once the 2020 pandemic happened, my husband Bryce and I decided it was the perfect time to leave and move to his hometown near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, until we figured out a more permanent place to live. Many Americans don't realize one third of their income goes to taxes. So after looking at a map and comparing the three main taxes, income tax, sales tax, and property tax, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri came out to being the states with the overall lowest taxes. In January 2021, we moved to Missouri thinking it would be temporary for my husband's schooling, though we ended up falling in love with this beautiful state. Turns out Missouri is a hidden gem with huge gorgeous parks, vibrant cities, mouth-watering barbecue and steakhouses, tons of attractions, and lots of events. This picturesque state is incredibly affordable with so many things to do, and just when I thought Missouri couldn't be any more awesome, we took a trip to the city of Branson. state of Missouri leaving from St. Louis across the state to Branson, Missouri, which is supposed to be like a mini family-friendly Las Vegas with nightlife, entertainment, amusement parks, all sorts of fun stuff. We've never been before and we're really excited. We have Bryce's mom in town with us right now. So we're doing a little staycation. We've got an Airbnb where we're going to make our breakfast for sure. And then maybe another night we'll make dinner at the Airbnb. But otherwise this evening, we're going to go to a Dolly Parton stampede which is a show and dinner involved at the same time. We packed a bunch of different food as well as because we're taking our car and doing a little road trip, we even brought things like our water filter. Hey, you know, we always come prepared. Yes, we're that crazy. Wait till tomorrow and see what we bring to this amusement park to eat. Gonna do a little Airbnb tour. This will be our home for the next three days. You can see on the right, we've got the stairs, but otherwise coming this way, over here we've got the first bedroom and bathroom, double vanity, shower, and then in here we've got the first bedroom with two nightstands, a closet, a TV. Going out of the bedroom, we have a little desk area. They have a printer. What's cool about this is this is a cork world where you can put a cork from where you are visiting. Over here we've got a nice comfy recliner and this is a couch that does pull out into a bed and then outside we've got the patio. I love these chairs. These are little swivel chairs. This table pulls out into a full-size table. In here we've got some games and pots and pans, a little coffee area. They've got a washer dryer, fridge, kitchen coming up the stairs we've got the loft area look at them views wow what a view here we've got the second bedroom and a little closet nightstand little dresser drawers and then in here we've got the bathroom which is a remodeled bathroom with a nice shower and a vanity we are headed to dolly parton stampede right now which is a dinner and show let's go We really had no idea what to expect for food, 
but were pleasantly surprised that they gave everyone their own mini rotisserie chicken, which of course made us bust out our mini Redmond's Real Salt that I brought in my purse. Throughout the show, I swear, the servers just kept coming around and putting more and more food on our plates, where by the end of it, there was some sort of white gravy, an English muffin, potatoes, pulled pork, and a corn on the cob. Overall, we were really impressed with the chicken. It was so juicy and flavorful. I ate the whole thing. It was super tasty. And I did have some of the pulled pork, though I could tell they put sugar in the sauce. So I just opted for more chicken, which was totally fine with me because it was so big and delicious that I was plenty full off of the chicken. The show did come with cake for dessert, but rather. So we just got back from the Dolly Parton show, which was super fun. And now we are having our dessert, which we brought our yogurt. We also brought some berries. And so we made our bowls of yogurt and berries for dessert. Just to give some context for those new to the channel, as you start seeing what I eat, you might start questioning, why is this Lily Kane lady not having any cake or french fries, waffles, ice cream? And I think that's a very valid question because those things are so tasty. But for me, processed foods, fried foods, junk foods don't make me feel my best. And I don't think those foods are gonna serve me well in the long run. I totally get it. Eating processed foods tastes really good in the few minutes while I'm eating them, but I don't think those foods are the best way for me to honor and love my body. Rather, I find eating single ingredient whole foods, so foods that have one ingredient, and specifically prioritizing protein is the best way for me to maximize living my most abundant, healthy, pain-free life. The biggest lesson I've learned when traveling is control the controllable. And what I mean by that is on this day, we were going to an amusement park all day and we weren't sure what the park was going to have as food options. Therefore, what we can control is how much food we eat before we go to the park. So we've got a breakfast of champions here. This is two cups of milk. We've got maybe a half pound of ground beef, a couple eggs, and an apple with our little Redmond's real salt. This breakfast came out to around 1100 calories, which was much needed as we knew we'd have a full day of walking ahead of us. Silver Dollar City is a popular theme park in Branson, Missouri with one of a kind rides, signature shows, and most noteworthy, it hosts one of nature's greatest wonders, Marvel Cave. The question is, what do we eat at an amusement park? So in our magic bag, we've got, oh, you guessed it, sardines. We've also got meat sticks and beef bars. I also have a couple of little oranges and Bryce had a banana. So when in doubt, bring food. Do you rather have nachos, ice cream, floats, pretzels, and cookies, or sardines? Now, even though we brought food, there were still plenty of options for non-processed foods high in protein, like turkey legs, brisket platters, rack of ribs, and chicken. I've always found options of things to eat, whether at social events, restaurants, even at amusement parks, there's usually always some sort of single ingredient whole food option. Even if there's not, let's say I go somewhere where like a burger joint, well then I can just get the burger, eat the meat, the cheese, some of the veggies, and then throw out the buns. In this household, we don't eat the buns. We go to the gym and we make them buns, okay? After lunch at Silver Dollar City, we stayed out of the heat and sun by watching shows, magicians, and doing the Marvel Cave Tour, where we descended 500 feet below the ground, seeing one of North America's largest cave entry rooms, a waterfall, and breathtaking geological formations. We ended up having such a fun day at the park. The cavern was definitely amazing. We ended up staying at the park way later than we thought we would. It is currently 7.30. We are pooped, tired, and hungry, to say the least. So after a long day, nothing sounds better than Beef. <laughs> Cue your line, honey. Beef. We walked 16,000 steps today, so my feet are hurting. For dinner, we're making Brussels sprouts. We have here one sweet potato that we're gonna split amongst the three of us and have beef. Instagram versus reality. Our classic yogurt and berries for dessert never gets old. We continued our nighttime routine of taking magnesium, even while traveling and out at dinner, as it helps us relax in the evening and have better sleep. 
the whole time my mother-in-law was visiting us for 10 days, even when we were at our house, we kept giving her magnesium in the evening and I'd ask her in the morning, how'd you sleep? And she'd say, I slept so good. How'd you sleep? Good. I slept really good. That magnesium works wonders, doesn't it? Yes. I should clarify and be more specific that not all forms of magnesium are intended to help with sleep. It's specifically magnesium glycinate that can help with improving relaxation and sleep. So there's other forms of magnesium, for example, citrate that can help with digestion and relieving constipation. There's taurate that can help with heart health and regulating blood pressure. There's malate that can help chronic pain, migraines, and depression. So there's various forms of magnesium, which is why I personally take by Optimizer's magnesium magnesium breakthrough as it's the only brand on the market that has seven different forms of magnesium in it. So I consider it like my magnesium multivitamin in the sense that I'm getting multiple forms of magnesium, kind of covering my bases and getting a little bit of all the benefits of different forms of magnesium. If you'd like to check out the magnesium I use, again, it's with Buy Optimizers and I'll leave a link in the video description as well as my 10% off discount code, Lily Kane. Now let's jump into our next day in Branson. Shopping around, enjoying a beautiful day. For Bryce's 37th birthday, his mama's getting him some shirts. So I have here a lighter lunch, sardines, half banana, a carnival bar, so a beef bar, half avocado, and salt. It's good. We asked Bryce's mom if she wanted sardines. She said, that's sweet, but I'll pass. That's all good, because it's more for us. On the counter. I got him! You got him! You can call me Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> we just got back from shopping, sightseeing, and then having lunch. And now we're going to get dressed for the rest of the evening, go out and see a few more things before we go out to dinner and see a show. Now I want to share a quick little story of a client who I had the other day who was going on vacation and they said, well, Lily, I need to try the best pizza place. I need to go and find the best burrito. And I said, sure, by all means, I think having these things occasionally can be fine. I don't believe the reason why people are sick, obese, diabetic on several medications is because a couple times a year they go on vacation and have these kinds of foods. So if that's what someone wants to do, by all means. But I also told the client that when we go on vacation, we try to seek out where's the best steakhouse? Who makes the best lobster tails? Where can we get some ribs? And for us, we get so much excitement and joy finding the restaurant that has the big juicy steak or the rack of lamb. Again, people don't have to be like us. I'm sure people probably think, wow, they're pretty strict when they're on vacation. But for us, we just genuinely really enjoy these foods. They not only taste really great to us, but they also make us feel really good. So that's what I told my client is, hey, you know, by all means, seek out that pizza place, but maybe you can start shaping your thinking into where's the best steakhouse and can I enjoy that steak just as much as I would have enjoyed that pizza. This restaurant was one of the best steakhouse experiences we've had. We ordered a 60 ounce tomahawk, so a five pound steak. It was so fun, it blew our minds. Without even eating it, we were having just so much fun looking at it. And then of course, it tasted amazing. The service was fantastic. This place made us feel like kids on Christmas morning. It made us so happy, we couldn't stop talking about it. We loved it. Afterwards, we went to a production at the Sight and Sound Theater, which was absolutely gorgeous. And we saw the show Queen Esther, which was jaw-dropping. 
I was in theater for many years. I love going to Broadway, seeing productions, and I never thought that any show could beat Wicked, but I'm at a loss of words for how amazing this Queen Esther production was. Firstly, the stage was insane. Usually when you're at a theater performance, you're sitting in the audience looking forward at the stage. But in this case, the stage was also on the sides of you, so it was a whole 180 degrees. The set was phenomenal, the costumes were incredible, the acting, the singing was just out of this world, and to top it off, the message and the story was so impactful, it left the audience with people crying, people had their hands in the air, you could just feel the energy of wholeness and love and a higher elevated consciousness that was just something I, I'll never forget. Even more wild to me was I was ready to stand up and give a standing ovation, but these actors didn't even do a curtain call, they didn't even take a bow because, well, I'm assuming the reason is that they just genuinely wanted to do this kind of performance without expecting any praise. It's like the actors just wanted to put this message and put this story out there as a way of a gift to the world, not because they needed any sort of praise or accolades for it. It was insane. I was born and raised in San Diego, California. I went to college in Minnesota. I then left and moved to Hawaii and then lived in Pennsylvania before moving to now Missouri. And I'm telling you, my experience going to Branson, Missouri made me even more proud to now live in the Midwest. Every day someone said, God bless or God bless America. You could just feel the wholesomeness and the friendliness of the people. And it was just so, it just made us very, very happy. The trip to Branson was better than I thought it would be. And I hope you guys can make a trip out there. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.